Right, no more playing games. Well, that'll teach him. If you hadn't heard, President Donald Trump, hail to the great white chief, has banned iron brew from his uh, golf club in Scotland. So I thought I'd do the same over here and ban Coca-Cola from all our sporting facilities. Hopefully he'll get the message. Anyway, we had a question from one of my YouTube followers. And hello to all my YouTube followers. I really appreciate you and I appreciate the questions. They were asking, what is the most orgasmic moment in making bows and arrows? Orgasmic moment. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bit of a think about that, uh, like most of us, uh, most, most men do probably. From time to time we have a think about orgasmic moments. Anyway, I came up with a couple in all honesty. There are a couple where you just think, yeah, that's good, I like that, that's nice. And that is one, getting to fit in an arrow plate where it fits in snugly. That moment when you've been doing all that digging and groping around with a pointy instrument and finally you get that milky white mother of pearl to slip easily into that hole and it's a perfect fit. Mm. Ah, that is the one, that is the one. And that other moment that I rather like is working on self-cut knot arrows. Normally with arrows you've got a plastic knock and it goes click clicks onto the string rather nicely and comes off easily again. But with self-cut knocks when you're just cutting into wood, that's really difficult. But that moment when you get it right, where well, you still get that same click, that same satisfying grip on the string, but it comes off easily. Yeah, a bit of a theme today. But anyway, yeah, thanks for that question. And those are my choices. Anyway, I'm nearly at the post office. I've got my little note uh, and my six forms of identification to prove that it is me whose house you left the note at saying that there was a parcel for me. So anyway, I'll pick it up, I'll nip back to the workshop and we'll do an unboxing. See you in a minute. Well, here we are, back in the ecclesiastical bosom of the Church of Bow, or my workshop, which, yeah, just does look a bit church-like for some reason. Anyway, the man at the uh, post office eventually agreed, after I covered up my beard and my moustache, that I do look like the picture in my passport, and gave me my parcel. It's from Boning, and they uh, send out samples to, uh, well, pretty much everyone in the business, really. Uh, no, um, not a sponsor, or being sponsored by them, uh, or any of those sorts of things. They just send this stuff out for free, and I thought you'd like to see what it is that we get. So anyway, let's open it up and have a look. I've already torn the seal off this, make it a bit easier. Right, what have we got? Oh, we've got a little sheet showing us what's in here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well, let's just delve in, shall we? Right, we've got some classic knocks. So we actually use classic knocks. They're quite good. They've got a, like, a nice little knock indicator on them. You can see on that picture on there, if I hold it up to that camera. So you've got the actual little indicator there, which shows you where your uh, cock fletch is. We rather like these. Uh, I think we've got some 11 32nd and 5 16th in there. And they appear to have included the NHS brown, the uh, colour that uh, fake limbs used to be made out of. Anyway, nice. Uh, what else have we got? We have got some heat veins. Uh, yeah, again, boning obviously uh, uh, tend to be doing modern archery, so it tends to be modern stuff that they send. Uh, but still, interesting stuff. What else have we got? Ooh, oh, those are nice. I love these things. I love these things. The way they keep arrows. I, I, I ought to collect them up and use them so that you can sort of stack your arrows. It's rather cool. Let's see what colours we've got. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, cool. That's like the Matrix. That's fantastic. Yes, I love that one. And, uh, oh, blue flowery one for the girls or, or boys. I suppose it's, uh, you know, it's got to be uh, even in this world. Oh, and look at that one. How fortuitous. A nice Scottish one. Look at that. See, Mr. Trump, you could be out there using those on your golf course. What else we got? Oh, the last thing. Oh, wow. A tube of arrow lube. That, what on earth does this do? Arrow lube. Check that out. Let's have a read of it. Uh, features no mess foam applicator, odorless, 
long-lasting and waterproof silicone based. What does it do? Why do you want to lubricate your arrows? Directions. There's, there's one direction. It's direction number one. So there is only one direction. Apply to the first two inches of the arrow, including the point. What, what does it do? I don't... What does it do? Arrow lube. What? I... Let's see if it is odorless. Yep, completely. Ew. Oh, we see! Oh, right! Ah, I think you put it on before you go shooting so you can get your arrows out of the target easier. Ingenious. I, 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 I've never particularly had problem being lubed up, but, you know, um, especially the first two inches. Anyway, right, well, there, there we go. That's a whole load of stuff from Boning, and thank you to them for sending it to me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what stuff we get sent in the post. And if you want to see more videos, then there's the subscribe button over there, if you want to click that, and I'll stick some more videos up here. And thank you very much for sending in the interesting questions. You know who you are. And if you'd like to get me to answer more daft things, or indeed instructional things, which is mainly what we do here. Yes, I occasionally do these vlogs and some silly stuff, just to stop me going insane making bow and arrow videos the whole time, really. Uh, if you want to see our website on bow making, then it's uh, down there in the description box thing. And leave us a comment if you, well, whatever it is that you want to see us do or make or show you how to make or hints, tips or oh, whatever the hell it is you want to see. Thanks for watching, folks. Happy shooting. At least the, the weather's good now, now, looking out my window. So most of you are out now doing your thing. I'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Oh, almost forgot. Cheers. Mmm, iron brew. Extra taste, no sugar. It's lovely.